Hello, my name's Kane, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own DVD movie so that it can be played on a DVD player. First, you'll need the Sony DVD Architect, and I'm using 4.0. The next step is to choose that movie by right-clicking on its file, and then you can also select Windows Movie Player or DivX. I'm going to use DivX here. Make sure that the movie is playing well. When you're a couple tips on converting the file, you want to convert it by 720 by 480 at 29.97 frames per second. Video codec MPEG-2. And if you're in North America, use NTSC. If you're in Asia or Japan, use PAL, P-A-L. So that since the video and uh, audio is playing well, all you gotta do next is select this file and drop it into Sony DVD Ar Architect. The next step is pretty much si is pretty simple. You can delete this by hitting delete on a keyboard and then selecting make movie and then you can essentially play this on a DVD player. But we're going to do a little bit more. We want to create a DVD menu so that when the user places the disc into the machine it would have this menu and then you'll be able to se select the play button on the side here. Select the menu 1, hit F2 on the keyboard and type in the name of your video. Now it is pretty difficult to tell if this would be on a TV screen or if it would be cut off on a TV mod on a TV screen because we don't know how um, how we don't know where to position this because there are no guidelines. So we would want to go to View, Workspace Overlay, and Show Title Safe Area. View again, Workspace Overlay, and Show Action Safe. We want to keep this text within the smaller line here. The next step is to go to buttons, drag in, the, drag in the button and Sony DVD Architect will default to this item here. We want to only change the button style to select text only. Let's type in play. Make it larger and then drag it to the left hand side. Now when you go to preview, preview disk, when you select this, this won't play. Why? It's because we have to link the play button to the to the main movie. How do we do that? Is by selecting play, go to action, destination, commercial 2. We want to link this commercial 2 file here which is our main movie as you double click to check it. We want to go back to the main menu and make sure that the play in action and destination is linked to commercial 2. Now when we hit preview, F9 on the keyboard, you will link directly to this button here and it will go into the movie close again. If you want to select a different highlight, for example an underline, you can select play again, go to highlight. Since it's default to rectangle, we would want to change it to underline. Select that button, select that option and hit F9. Now it, your highlight is changed to an underline option. Select play to make sure it's playing well. Close it. This is the default background for DVD Architect. Let's say we want to change it to a different background. You can select this tab here by choosing background or you can go to background media by choosing your own custom background in this window here by going to the drop down men menu and selecting replace. We're just going to do the default one of the, uh, Sony DVD Architect's default backgrounds for now. We're going to select this one here. Once everything is looking nice, all we got to do is select movie, make DVD, and then put place a disc in your DVD burner. Select burn select browse I'm gonna save it into desktop make a new folder and call it the file that you want to name it as select hit hit OK select next these options are just for uh, uh, guides and they're normally okay sometimes there are error messages here and you would want to take a note of that since it's okay I'm gonna select next now we would want to name a title for this DVD again I would name it commercial this device here would be your DVD burner. This is fine here. For the speed, you can choose your speed to burn. I would recommend 12. If you go any higher, sometimes it's faster, but it's not as stable. And you want to balance, have a balance in between. If you go too slow, it's more stable, but it takes longer to burn. I normally have no problems with 12. Once all this is completed, all you got to do is hit play and finish. Once the burning is completed, it normally takes about 10 to 20 minutes to burn one disc depending on how long your m movie is. Once that's completed, take it out from a DVD-ROM and place it into your DVD player so that you can test it on your television set. Hope that works. My name, is, my name again is Kane.
and thanks for watching.